What's up guys? Welcome back to Rome Reviews. I'm Rome and this is the Vivo X200 Ultra. And we're just gonna go through the initial setup since I had to wipe it. Uh, so Wonder, Mo Wonder Mobile went in and set the phone up and installed play the Play Services or turn the Play Services on and install the Play Store. And I just like to go back and wipe it and start with a clean device. So that's what we're doing here. So immediately we're gonna click here that is not obvious to me in my mind that's not very obvious but i'm going to click here change that to english and then we're going to move forward with the setup and of course you have to agree to this stuff before you can proceed which okay fine and i'm going to go ahead and connect it to wi-fi and we'll be right back all right we're back and we're connected so we're going to keep going we're not going to set up any security right now uh, I'm not going to sign into my Vivo account unless it makes me. <laughs> Can I skip this? All right, guys, I'm back. Sign into my Vivo account. Going to skip this. Smart upgrades? No. I don't want them downloading. Not joining a user experience program. So, this is why I like to go back and set everything up. So, carrier service. Uh, by enabling you allow access to the internet. Okay, I guess I have to leave that. Location, I may leave that on. On oh, no, number identification, I guess. Lock screen poster, yeah. AI advisor, no, because I can't use it. Smart launcher. Origin kits, I guess so. Global search, yes. Art plus plus turbo. Faster launch, run, install. Okay, I guess. Provide smart capabilities for devices as well as smart service diverse scenarios by enabling it. Internet location, access SMS messages. Hmm. Origin player, I can't use it because it doesn't. I don't use Origin player for anything. Smart messaging and messages. Mainly used to provide intelligent identification, communication. Content contained in SMS messages sent by carriers is shown. I don't know. I'm turning it off. I don't think I want to use it. Uh, import data. Not Won't be doing that. Uh, color temperature default. We're going to leave the default. Next. System navigation. Of course, we're going to use full screen gestures. And we're going to continue into Origin OS. And First thing, so the app drawer is not on by default. So the first thing I like to do before I turn on the app drawer, because if I turn on the app drawer and then try to uh, try to remove applications, it'll only remove them, and then I have to go into the app drawer and then try to uninstall them one by one. So if I leave it like this, though, I pinch and I can multi-select. Yeah, I know, I know. Batch sort, I get it. Move icons across screen, I get it. All right, so we're back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and clean it up. Uh, music, wallet, Vivo Health, reader. I think I'm gonna leave our manager, our video. I might leave that. Weibo, let's go ahead and clean this up. Okay, click out of there, go ahead here, clean this up. I can only select 20 at a time. Okay, fine, so now you see where it says uninstall. Yeah, like I said before, if I had set up the app drawer, it would only remove the apps, and now we have to go into the app store and uninstall them. So this saves some time. So, yep, go ahead and clean those up. And we're going to go in and do some more. Get those. Um, I think these are okay for now. Well, you know what? Let's remove that one. Everything else I'll leave. For, well, Kids Zone, WPS Office. Yep, let's get rid of that. Nothing here. Okay. I feel like this is not as bad as it was the first time that I did this. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Not bad. I feel like the Vivo X200 uh, Pro was worse than this. All right. So anyway, let's go in. Let's do this. Let's do home settings. Home screen style. Drawer style. Apply. Switch. Now I have my drawer here. Now I can go in and I'm gonna get rid of all of these apps, except for the V app store, I'm gonna leave that there, but I'm gonna send all these to the drawer basically. And if I wanna do some additional cleanup, I can do that. I think I'm gonna leave the tools there as well. 
So let's remove. It, it, they just basically said that these will be in your app drawer. They're not being uninstalled. All right. So now we go into settings and we're going to do Google online mode. I, for now, let's change this keyboard. It's going to drive me crazy. How did I? Let's do that. Let's do this. Okay. There we go. If I can type, goodness gracious. Okay, Google Basic Service Management. Gonna turn that on. Now we can proceed with going in and so so they say Google Play Services that that's on and everything. Fine, okay. Now we can go in and search for yeah, I know. Let's just do Play Store. Sometimes it acts weird if I type in too much. So let's see. Google Play. I think that's it, actually. Yep. So on here it says Google Play. Now let's go back and type in. Let's go ahead and search here and see what Google Play pops up. Yep. Okay. So if I were to type in store, let's see what comes up. So Google Play still comes up. Okay, fine. So now here we are. Google Play. And I can go in and install all of my apps and set everything up. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. The place, the Google services being on the device and you're not having to do anything additional makes this process a lot easier. So, yeah, I'll go in, set the phone up, play with it for a little while, get it to where I would like it, to where I would like it to be. And then we'll be back and I'll just show you the final result. All right. I'll be back in a little while. All right. So we are back with the almost finished product. Um, I still have a few more icons just laying all over the place that I need to organize and get to where I want them to be. But here we are. We are set up. Um, as you can see, I am on AT&T and I do have 4G in the upper right corner. For some reason with Vivos, I only get 4G with AT&T. Um, T-Mobile would get 5G on this device, which I do have that SIM card in my Xiaomi 15 Ultra right now. But it does get 5G on T-Mobile. Um, so to be clear, I do use us mobile for my, um, T mobile service. Um, us mobile calls it light speed, but it relies on T mobile towers and I get 5g across the board, no matter what phone I put that SIM card in. So if you want a more consistent 5g in the U S in America, um, you may want to get, uh, either T mobile or go with us mobile and get the, um, light speed. To, uh, the light speed uh, uh, setup. I can't even think of the, <laughs> the light speed service. That's what it's called. Anyway, so I get a lot of questions about my weather widget uh, that I use and how to set up the Google search bar down here. So, what you want to do is you want to go to the App Store and you want to search Google. And here we are. And you'll see the actual Google icon come up here. Well, one of the options will come up. And this is what you want to install. After you install that, you want to go in and open it and make sure you set it up and get your account going and everything. And then what you want to do is pinch the screen or hold it, long press, whatever you do. Go to App and Kits. Or you can just go to your app drawer and go to Origin Kits. And you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you see App Widgets. And you're going to go down to Google. And here's where they are. This The one I had at the top is the at a glance option. And then the next one, if you scroll down a little bit, uh, almost to the last one, and you'll see the Google search bar. And to even take that one step further to make it mirror your system um, colors or whatever, you want to go into the Google, go to settings. Go to, yeah, go over there to your icon in the upper right. Go to settings and then go to customize search widget. And here's where you can change the colors of it and the transparency and so on. So you have a ton of options here. Not a ton, but a few, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, so you go in and that's how you change that to mirror your system settings. And here, and that one is just... It'll pull up your location. It requires a location and stuff like that to show you your temperature in your area and so on. So 
that is how I, for those of you that always ask me about the weather, what weather uh, widget I use, I just use the at a glance because it shows, it's connected to like my Google stuff. So it shows me like important updates over here to the left. Uh, right now it just shows me weather, but if I had an appointment come up or something like that, it'll, it'll show me that information. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I have my widgets going and so on and so forth. I have my wallpaper going. Um, you can go into your mood cube if you long press or pinch on the screen and go to the left side of the screen. So swipe right. And this is where you could tell it to use your uh, wallpaper colors to change system themes. And that's where it'll pull the, uh, the colors from. So yeah, anyway, just want to show that real quick. And yeah, this is the finished product. This is the setup of the Vivo X200 Ultra. If there's anything specific that you want to see, um, let me know. Um, I do have Google Messages and RCS is working right now. I do have a video on how to get RCS working. I, I, the most consistent method I found to get RCS working uh, if you're having issues with that. So check that out. I'll probably pop that up somewhere or yeah, or maybe link it in the description or something like that. But yeah, just wanted to mention that. And let me see what else. Yeah, I think that's it as far as the initial setup of the device goes. So what I'm going to do is moving forward, I'm going to go ahead and start working on testing the device out, the cameras, most of all, because we've done the X200 Pro. Um, I spent quite a bit of time with that. And just to, uh, for the sake of transparency, uh, I sold my X200 Pro to get the X200 Ultra, so I can't do a like a physical side by side comparison. But I will. I had enough time, and I spent a ton of time with the X200 Pro, so I I feel like I could do a decent comparison just by you know talking about the differences between the two. I know there won't be a ton of differences, but hey. At least we could talk about it and just get it out there for those of you who are kind of like lingering on the line between getting the X200 Pro or the X200 Ultra. All right. So for now, that is it. And I will be back with a ton of more videos in the future. So if there's anything you want to see specifically on the X200 Ultra outside of the camera kit, uh, because I did not purchase that, feel free to drop a comment down below and like and subscribe for more content like this. All right. Appreciate you guys. I'll catch you later.